bringing a touch of Hugh Jackman, and who doesn't want that, to the cabaret season with a new solo show, Superhuman, which weaves together a heartfelt story with comedy, dance and song. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe the show's creator and performer, Ruthani Spooner, and director, Jennifer Ward-Leland. Yes. 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 Truly fantastic to have you both here. Uh, Ruthani, the show it sounds incredible. You just come off tour two with the Modern Māori Quartet. Yes. Who are yes. going to be on the show on Friday, Friday by the yes, way. Him, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Um, how has all that been? Awesome. I've been with the uh, Quartet Fano for about a year now. Um, so, yeah, we spent a month in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Festival, the world's largest uh, theatre festival. So it was uh, it was awesome. We had a great time. We stopped over in London on the way home, but, yeah, it was wicked. Awesome. So you'll be primed and ready to go. Tell us more about <laughs> Superhuman, because when I read about it, I thought, this is a bit of me. It sounds incredible. So tell everyone else a bit more. Well, basically, it's it's the we woven together two the two worlds that I live and and work in the, my world of kapahaka and and my world of musical theatre, and somehow putting those together has created this is is superhuman. Um, it's hopefully going to be funny. Hopefully going to be heartfelt. Um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's. I would say it's a hybrid of a show. It's a it's a mutant show, uh, and it sits in the world of cabaret. Well, that sounds convenient, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a mutant, mutant show. show. Yeah. Um, Jennifer, you're directing this. I am. So what was? How did you get involved? Well, luckily, um, Ruth and I have worked and I have worked together before at the Blue Baths in Rotorua doing a show called The Choice, and I knew of his many many talents. And he called me up. I was in the middle of shooting the movie. I think yeah, called yeah, me up and asked me to direct this and I immediately said yes. In fact, at that stage, you hadn't even really kind of wrestled the show into what it is now. No, and I spent, I think I spent like two days getting the guts to call you and say... <laughs> <laughs> Bring it out. Because I went, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but I knew that, he, you know, he's a terrific performer, so it was very easy for me to say yes. Even though I didn't quite know what the show was, <laughs> I said yes. There we go. And speaking of performing, you perform a range of different songs in it. Take us through the list of some of the songs. Well, I've written a couple of Māori songs for the show um, when I'm in the world of Kapahaka, but then I go through, I try to go through every genre of musical theatre possible. So I do songs from West Side Story, uh, songs from uh, Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat, Les Mis, uh, Les Mis um, Boy From Oz, uh, but then there's songs like End of the Road, uh, Boys to Men, yeah, there's a uh, there's a huge mix of songs. Because the thing about this is, is that it's a uh, it's Hugh Jackman. Massive, this is a Hugh Jackman thing, isn't it? I mean, mm. a massive influence for you. I mean, how does Hugh get into the show? Well, um, Hugh's always been a, like a kind of I want to say guiding figure in my development as a performer because uh, to me he represents what it means to be a man. Uh, you know, he's 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 fierce. Wolverine, because in my eyes, Wolverine and Hugh Jackman are the same person. Right. Uh, and so, he's fierce, he can be fierce, but he, all can, he can also mince about on stage in a sparkly, spangly t-shirt. And so for me, that's like, oh yeah, he, he, teaches, me, he teaches me to, to own the fierce and the fabulous. Yeah. Um, and one of the lines like in the show is that it, it, he felt okay to be a different kind of man, the person who does kapahaka and musical theatre. And Jennifer, you're no stranger to directing and performing, but this is a solo show. Has it been hard for, for Ruthani, I guess, to to take it all on board? You know, he's one of those actors, and I love working with him, those people who take on notes really quickly. And it's been a terrific joy. In fact, sometimes I've almost squealed with the delight because <laughs> nice. it's just been me and Ruthani performing and singing some incredible song. And I'm going, lucky me, lucky me, <laughs> just me and him in the room. Uh, so... Yeah, I really, really love being able to shape a show with a with an actor, especially an actor who's fast and has many, many mm. talents. Do you find, though, with the, with the whole fact that it's your show, and it's your baby, you mm. came up with the concept that when you have a director come in and tell you how to do something, that can how does that sit with you? No, uh, no I, I, I enjoy that moment because I've written it's it. Jennifer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> uh, I've written it, and because I've written it and I'm performing it, I need somebody to, to challenge my ideas, to challenge uh, every, everything that I do. So, yeah, um, sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes I have to go, oh yeah, cool, and take a moment to think about it. But um, most of the time, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's actually really good. And someone like Jennifer too, you know, she knows the world of cabaret, she knows the mm. world of storytelling via singing, so it's just the perfect person. Which is hard to keep her off the stage, you want to get up there and sing <laughs> too, <laughs> I think. No, don't do it like this, <laughs> do it like that. <laughs> so have, have you, does Hugh Jackman know about the show? No, we're, he we're doesn't. Trying. We're trying. We're trying hard. <laughs> we're trying really hard. We've, we've been uh, uh, trying to reach him through all Facebook, uh, for, through all social media platforms, um, and through his agents. But if he's watching, yes. if he's listening, 
Which camera should we go in for this one? This one right here? Which one? This, one? Sorry, this, this one. one over here. Do it. You, if you're watching, there'll be a seat for you uh, at the basement theatre. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. No, anybody, anybody that's watching that, that knows him or knows a contact, forward this link, OK? <laughs> yeah. So he knows about it. He's a regular watcher of the cafe. It'll be yeah, yeah, to get to him. Uh, because I see you wear your Wolverine claws in some of your promo pictures, don't you? Do they come yeah. out on His stage? Version His of, version of Wolverine claws. You have to come along to see them oh, because okay. they, are, they are a work of art in themselves. <laughs> but you know, one of the beautiful things is when it's your own story, it's really important that you tell that from your heart, mm. very truthfully. And I think that's what's going to be so watchable in Superhuman, is to see Rutani's own story being told through dance, through song, through dialogue, through his playing of the guitar, through everything. And oh. I, it's going to be just delightful. Sounds amazing. fantastic. Yeah, Thank you both so much for joining us today on The Cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, Superhuman is playing for five nights only, starting tonight at the Basement Theatre as part of the Auckland Live International Cabaret season. For tickets, you can go to ticketech.co.nz.